Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Dream Desk Designs. I'm back and I decided this time I want to try using different tools to apply the epoxy paste to the resin. And I found on Amazon these little pipettes and also to these little bottles that are 10 mil. I can't remember how many mils actually, but they're tiny and they have that needle. Um, tip. So I was thinking instead of using traditional toothpicks, um, I want to try transferring my mixture into these bottles and then applying the colors to the mold. Now I've already pre-mixed everything as you can see I've done lots of testing with my colors and this is over um, I applied the resin probably about 45 to 50 minutes ago um, because, like I said, s sometimes you think you have the right uh, mixture, and then as you can see, a lot of it dropped, um, and still over time. So it's, like I said, you got to have so much patience for this technique. So I'm just going to quickly double check to make sure everything is good to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the colors into these containers and I think let's I mean, let's do an experiment let's do um, let's say some hearts with toothpick application and then the other one will be these and let's see a comparison to see um, what kind of effects we get if we still get the feathering effect because that's what I'm going for is always the feathering effect and I'm just triple checking my colors to make sure that they're good if I have any s s resin left, <laughs> clear resin left, to make sure it doesn't drop. But I'm like 95% sure. Um, what I've also used is Liquid Diamonds casting resin, as well as some of the Le Res products. And the, of course, all the colors have been added with the Color Passion Top White Cell. That is the key. It's just a tiny, tiny amount of top uh, cell added to each color. And of course, it will change um, your colors. And sometimes what I have to do, like as you can see, this is uh, Lores Paste, Black Paste. And you add just a tiny bit of white and it turns gray so um, you literally are using a toothpick uh, amount of white to your color just because it changes it so much okay let's um, let's try this let's go ahead and transfer some of this purple Obviously, I'm not going to use all of it because I want to use some of it for the application with the toothpick. And of course, I bought 500 of these. <laughs> so once you use it, it's done. And also, what I'm going to do um, with these bottles when I'm done with them is immediately put alcohol in it and clean it as much as possible because I, I, I like to reuse things, right? Don't we all? Okay, so I'm going to just take the tops off of these and get another small pipette. And let's do this purple. And if I need more, I'll just add more, right? I'm
Let's do this one as toothpick. Um, let's do this one with black. And I like to keep the tray as close as possible. And all we're doing is like one little dot. Little dot. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, and like for the dots, I try, as you can see I, in the beginning I was using smaller and now I'm using larger. It's all to your preference on how you want your, your oh geez, hence why you need to be closer. Why, um, it just depends on how big you you want your feathers. So I'm going to make this one a little bit closer together. And I'm just doing this really speedy. So again, when you're doing this project, set at least two to three hours of your time. Seriously, uh, from, from prepping to uh, pouring your resin in your molds and then waiting for a bit, it is so worth it. Um, and you'll love the results in the end. Trust me. And even sometimes too, when I'm doing this, I've done many since my first video that you guys have seen. And if not, please do it. It totally will explain the mixture, um, what the, how much resin to alcohol to epoxy paste that I use. course all the, it'll take a while to get the color down but let's just see how detailed this comes out again this is the first time I'm doing this you guys <clears throat> excuse me oh yeah and you can totally see that it's so precise. Oh my God, this is going to be stupid. I'm barely squeezing you guys. Barely squeezing. Sounds a little shaky today, but you can imagine you slowly do this and you're consistent. Now, as I said, consistent with your spacing. Can you imagine what this is going to look like? OMG. Wow, I can't believe how precise this is. This is freaking amazing. I should have done this a while ago. I'm just hoping that I get the same effect. Oops, I'm not unscrewed up. That's okay. Okay, let's do a lighter purple. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm just going to zoom in. Please don't drop cell phone. I'm just trying to zoom in for you guys without dropping my cell phone again in the resin. You guys can see. Oh, 
hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm doing the lighter purple. And actually this time I'm really not even squeezing and it's coming out. So it's probably a little bit more runnier. But that's okay. And I'm just touching the surface of the resin. Literally just touching. And I think too, with such tiny little dots of the paste, it's not going to drop. It really isn't. Okay, so there's that color. And then I'm going to use this really light purple for the middle. Oops. Okay. And then what I'm going to do... Ooh, should I put color in there? Should I put white? Ooh, hard decision. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put white on that one. We're not putting white on that one, guys. Nope. Um, oh, if you noticed, whoa, don't drop. If you notice this guy, my purple is dropping. Shoot. Which means that's the same mixture as that guy. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Okay. Okay. So let's do, um, I'm just going to zoom out. Okay. Let's do this guy. Make a pendant. And I'm just going to follow the shape, with the light pink. Or like a peachy pink and then I think what I'm gonna do too is put gold in the spaces that's not oh I can't believe how precise this is, this is ridiculous like seriously really hope this turns out okay and then I'm gonna do some white I've gotta put some white in there gotta put some white in there and I'm literally thinking I'm just going to put it in as much space as possible available there's not much when you're putting such tiny little dots it actually takes up quite a lot of room. That's okay. But I think it's gonna look good. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Um, what color should I do that one? Oh shoot. Okay, I have the white sand. So let's do the white sand. And like literally, guys, it's just coming out. I'm not even squeezing it. It's just that awesome. And it seems like the application is so much quicker. So much quicker. Love it. I'm just hoping too that I can really clean these bottles so I can reuse them because that is the key, right? Again, guys, there's no um, certain pattern I'm following here. I'm just literally putting the dots where I think they would be fit and trying to, you know, Fill the negative space as much as possible. And yeah, I hope it expands pretty good. Yeah, I'm disappointed. This guy down here, uh, you can see that he is or she, she dropped. And that sucks. That sucks. Because that's that dark purple and the only thing I can do is maybe add a couple of drops back to my original sol <clears throat> solution. Maybe add, we're just going to add one, two, three, three drops to this one. Because it's not dropping 
there yet, right? So So let's try this. Let's try half a heart with the purple. Well, it's not really half gem. My carumba girl. And then let's do the dark purple. When it gets down there. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna wait. Oh, there we go. So I'm just putting purple the darker purple in my spots. Okay, and then the lighter purple. I really like how you can be so precise with your dots, like seriously. I haven't, to be honest, filled my hearts as much like this before. Um, this is definitely new for me because I like to leave a little bit of negative space because then it really defines, and in my opinion, it defines the the feathers. But you guys can do whatever you want. It is up to you. I just hope this works. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm gonna put white throughout this guy. As you can see, ooh, that's dark. Let me zoom in here. Um, you can see a little bit of the purple dropping. I could try saving it. Uh, let's see if we can save it. Let's see if I can save it. Um, Little pivot. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it because it's going to wreck everything. No, I don't want to do it. Okay. <laughs> Enough said. It's not being done. <laughs> that's okay. I know that the purple is too heavy and that's too bad. Um, I will add couple more 
dropped to the solution and just hope for the best. Because like I said, I'm running out of time. <sighs> I really like that design. Okay, let's see if I can do... Well, now it's really running. Because the dots are a hell of a lot bigger now. Heck yeah. Yep, you can definitely tell I added alcohol ink or alcohol to my solution because it is definitely spread it a lot quicker. Let's see what happens. And Um, I guess I'll just do any pattern. I'll let you to I'll let you know guys as well when it when I'm cleaning these um, when I come back and disturb and and um, put a pattern into the resin I'll let you know how well they turned out clean because I'm just literally just going to pour the alcohol ink or alcohol ink oh my god the alcohol Jen um, into it and just rinse it as much as possible. Again guys, I am literally just blobbing everywhere as you can tell. But that's okay. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so remember I was telling you that um, I was going to let you know how easy it was to clean. These guys actually cleaned quite well. Just filled up the bottle a little bit with alcohol. Shook it a couple times. Rinsed. Boom. Done. Clean. So, as you can see, um, unfortunately the purple, uh, the lighter purple is dropping. And, on, uh, and that's too bad. It's going to uh, not feather as well. It'll probably be blotchy down there. But this guy... Look at this heart. I don't even know if I want to touch it. It has done something so flippin' weird. I must have an uneven table. But, like, that looks cool. I don't even know if I want to disturb it. Because you can see, like, the different layers here. But, as you can see, um, again, my purple has dropped, unfortunately. So... I don't know how well this is going to work, you guys, but I'm going to still share it with you because it's all a learning curve for us, right? Um, these ones, too, yeah, they're a deeper um, mold. Like, for example, you can see that's approximately how thick um, it is. So it might, it might not work. But anyway, let's try it let's let's do let's do this so taking toothpicks and literally we are going to do swirls so I'm going to swirl this around and just let it go um, again remember testing your resin gives you that um, uh, stringy effect like um, a lemon meringue pie as I called it. So again, I am just doing a light swirl. I'm going a little bit deeper on these ones just because it dropped. I Again, I don't know how pretty these ones are going to be just because my colors dropped unfortunately. That's too bad. Can't go back and fix it, but that 
It's all good. Okay, this one, I'm going to start in the middle. And we're going to swirl. Look at that. The back side looks pretty cool. Let's hope the front is cool. Same thing, light swirl. I don't know how much feathering is going to happen here. But we were trying out more of the uh, bottles, right? And I really like them. Like, I really do. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to zoom into these guys over here. Now... The, oh, and don't forget, um, once you disturb, to go back and fire it with your, um, what do you call it? Your heat, your heat gun or your, your torch. Wow, Jen. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs> so, here we go. This one. Let's. Dragging it across the surface. Okay. I really don't want to touch that one. That other one looks so cool. Okay, so this one, obviously the middle dropped. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Don't think. I don't know if that's gonna work, guys. I really don't. Okay. Um, I'm still leaving that one to the last because <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. Oh yeah. And then I've definitely left my resin. For the last part of it. Okay, let's do these guys. Alright. Remember, just the surface, guys. Just the surface. If the color did drop, you obviously need to go down a, um, right to the bottom just to, so that you can try to disturb it a little bit more and this one <clears throat> the purple had dropped on this one unfortunately so i have to go to the very bottom like i said i'm not sure how these ones are going to work okay so this one i don't know what to do guys i really don't know what to do should I leave it? Ah, let's disturb it. Okay. Um, I hope it works. Oh, I hope it looks okay, guys. All right. Oh. I'll just mess up my tester because my tester. Testers are always funny. All right, so you can kind of see it looks cool in the back, right? So let's hope the heck it works, guys. So I'm just going to torch these and uh, yeah, and then we will see how they turn out tomorrow. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey, guys, I'm back. It's the next day, and we're going to check these out. Now, if you remember, I used on the bottom here was the toothpick application. And then these ones, pretty sure all of them were the, the little bottles with the needle nose on top. And let's see what kind of effects we get. And I hope everything works out. So, obviously, I'm going to get rid of this one because that one's just my tester. So here's the black. 
So the black one, you can see it gets a little bit of a glare here. Looks not too bad at all. I got some good feathering. Definitely got some good feathering. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so that one's a success. So another this one also is this one this um the pink drop. So you can see right there that the pink dropped and that's what you get. So unfortunately, I don't like that one very much at all. And I think this one too, the purple dropped. Yep. So you can focus. Sure you're having a hard time focusing. So yeah, the purple dropped, unfortunately, so that's not a go either. Okay, so this one, you can see the background looks pretty flipping cool. Let's see what she did. And I know the purple dropped, so unfortunately, I like, I like the design. But the purple, unfortunately, the lighter purple dropped, so no go. But you can see, you can get some pretty cool designs using, using the um, needle nose bottles. Okay, let's cut that one off again. Oh, this one looks so cool though. Um, purple didn't feather as much as I wanted it to, but it looks really neat. Um, I'm gonna have to try this again. But yeah, unfortunately, my mixture just wasn't the right consistency. But it dropped a little bit, but it, I like, I like the look. I do definitely like the look. Now, if you remember, these guys, this guy was doing like some kind of weird layering thing while it was drying. Oh, hot dang. Yes. This one turned out beautiful. Oh, yes. So far, we got two. This one turned out so neat. Love, 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 love. Okay. And now we're going to do the purple one. Purple one, unfortunately, lots of... My mixture was not good, but I really... I think it looks cool. Um, but you can see, like... I really am going to work on another video on doing more of the... The application with the bottles because I think we're going to get some pretty cool results. Yeah, I love that one. Okay, so get rid of that. All these guys. Now, these molds um, are deeper, but I know some of the colors were dropping. But let's see. Oh, this one looks cool. I like that. That'll turn into a nice necklace. That's not completely feathered, but it's really neat. I like that. This one kind of same thing, just different. It's not completely the feathered look, but um, still gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Okay. Oh, this one dropped like no tomorrow. This one's a no-go. See? Cream just completely dropped. Nope. Garbage. Probably the same one with this one. Oh, this one would have been cool. Um, let's 
see all the cool design, but the cream. Shoot. That sucks. That's okay. They almost look like the marble. Like a marble, right? You remember when you were kids and you played marbles? This one is pretty too. A little bit of air bubbles. Not too, too bad, but still pretty. I'll keep that one. And then I was just playing around with the small ones. Oh, yeah. And drop, dropped. These did not turn out well at all. Nope. That's okay. And this one's nothing either, but um, I'm really happy with uh, the gold and pink one. Like, this one is super cool. So, yeah, guys. Um, you know, of course, things are not always going to work out each every single time, but um, I'm going to do this again here because I really like the look of this. Like it looks really neat. Yeah, definitely like the look. And then, well, I've got to keep a couple out of the ones. Focus. But yeah, love it, love it. All right, guys, I will be back. Sorry, not all of them worked, but at least you know what kind of designs we can get. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.